listening to Ipas TV. I am from 5A English Language Education. In this time, the video I will show uh, in advance how my trip to find uh, virgins. Until finally, I met Vicky. He's from Indian. Uh, our conversation uh, was great long at the time um, via video call. Um, but unfortunately, uh, my audio is uh, broken, and so that sound is not recorded. And I only realized it a few days after the interview. This is. Uh, Until finally, I search again and I meet um, Karen uh, through the Hello Talk application. He from uh, England. Uh, we wanted to do a video call, but there was a network uh, outage at the time. Um, and he also didn't have much time because he was uh, working and this is chatting me with Karen A few days uh, after that, I uh, asked him a uh, video call again, but uh, he is uh, still busy until finally I asked, I asked him to the voice only for interview. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, can I talk with you? Hello, good afternoon. Yes, of course. Oh, okay, thank you. What is your name? My name is Kieran. Hello, Kieran. Nice to meet you. May I know where you were born? Um, I think you asked where was I born? Um, I was born in Aberystwyth Hospital, which is in a town in the mid in Mid Wales. Wow! By the way, my name is Indri. Um, I'm from Indonesia, uh, so I think the place is very far for my country. Karen, may I ask you a question? Okay, nice to meet you too, Indri. Yeah, it's really far. It's like maybe over halfway around the world. Um, yes, of course you can ask me a question. Generally, in, in the UK, in our culture, you don't ask someone to ask them a question. You just ask them a question. But I know in Indonesia it's different. It's very People in Indonesia are very polite. They ask, can I ask a question? And then they, then they ask a question. So I still need to get used to that sometimes. Oh, thank you. I'm allowed to know whether you are working or a student. Okay, I'm not a student anymore. Um, I graduated three years ago. 
I think three years ago or four years ago. Uh, now I work uh, in a support centre for refugees and asylum seekers. I work there in the kitchen. Um, and due, because due to coronavirus, my hours have been reduced. I also do a side job um, doing deliveries of food on my bicycle. Yes, Karen, I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, um, congratulations for your graduate also three years ago. Karen, I ask you, uh, you know Indonesia? Um, I've never been to Indonesia, but I can speak Indonesian and I know a lot of Indonesian people. Oh, really? Can you speak Indonesian now? I'm sorry, I'm slow to reply to your message because the signal at my place is not good. No, bisa kok, bisa pakai bahasa Indonesia. Um, iya, gue nggak mau mau bilang apa, tapi ya, apa sih? Um, yes, ini ya itu lambat. Signals very slow. Uh, but also, this the application. This application is very slow. Wow. The way you're speaking using Indonesian is very good. And how did you learn to speak Indonesian? Uh, thank you very much, but uh, I'm definitely still learning. Um, how did I learn to speak Indonesian? I used, first I used an application called Duolingo, probably you know it, to get some of the basics. And once I had the basics, I had enough to make some conversations. Then I started practicing with people. I started uh, watching videos and stuff like that, watching movies. And then, yeah, just, you know, you learn bit by bit. Duolingo application? Yeah. Uh, I, so I think uh, this application is so very good. And the way you learn Indo is the same as it, as I learning English by watching a movie or listening to music. Um, but your abilities are extraordinary, Karen. Oh, well, thank you very much. But, you know, don't compliment me too much. British people generally get embarrassed if they get compliments. Um, yeah, do you think it's okay? You know, you need to, it's a good basis, but you need to practice and really be interested in the language. A lot of people who learn English, they learn because, oh, they feel they have to, because English is an international language, da, da, da. But for me, I learned Indonesian just because I was interested. So then it was easy, right? Yes, I will try to keep learning um, so that my speaking skill will improve. Karen, do you to visit Indonesia? Yeah, I mean, as long as you're interested in the language, you're interested in the history, the culture, the linguistics, or the dialects, then definitely, yeah, you can easily learn, anyone can easily learn a language like that. Um, yeah, I, you know, inshallah. Hopefully, it can be a surprise. Uh, if you visit Indonesia, uh, which city or vacation spot would you like to visit? Um, Bali or maybe Jakarta? Uh, you know Bali and Jakarta, right? Well, if I went to Indonesia, I, it would be okay to visit. But really, if I will go there, I want to like stay there, work there, live there for some time at least, you know. Um, I mean, anywhere, I'm sure it would be good. But somewhere where I can, you know, do some work for the people or something. So, but uh, yeah, Jakarta would be good. Also, I'm vegan. So it'd be much easier for me to live in Jakarta because one, there's maybe some vegan places, but like, you know, modern vegan places, but also because it's a big Chinese community and a lot of Chinese communities, they have vegan restaurants because of the Buddhism and stuff like that. So that's fantastic for me. Um, but also I'm really interested in Papua, the culture of Papua, the political situation of Papua. So yeah, I'd like to go there, I think as well. So I've been learning their dialect as well. Oh, you want to visit Papua? Yep, Papua is a very beautiful and nice place to visit. Um, I'll talk, I'm Indonesian people and, and I have never been to Papua. Um, Karen, is it winter in your place there? Your voice is like a person who is cold. I mean, it is winter, yeah, but it's not that cold. I was just on the bike at that time or something. Um, 
Yeah, no, I think it's very beautiful. Oh, oh. Karen, do you know stereotype? Uh, I have the stereotype of whether it is um, true where you live now. Um, most of them are happy to enjoy the coffee or tea. It is true or not? Um, yeah, I think most people who live here, they enjoy drinking coffee or tea. But I think most people in the world enjoy drinking coffee or tea, right? It's not like a thing of some culture. I think everyone, like most people in the planet, they like to drink coffee or tea. Do you not like to drink coffee or tea? Yes, of course. I like tea and uh, coffee. Um, Karen, um, usually in your life, what food is the people uh, favorite there? Um, or do you have the best recommended for food in your place? Sorry, I'm not sure I 100% understood what you were asking me. Um, I think perhaps you are asking me, like, what is the favorite foods, what are the normal foods people eat in, in this area, in my local area, um, in my culture? Uh, well, this is, an interest, this is an interesting question because, of course, Britain has a long history um, of, you know, of, of international empire, right? So it's been all over the world. Um, it's done all sorts of terrible things all over the world and has brought back food from all over the world and people from all over the world from the empire and elsewhere have come back to Britain and brought their food and their culture. So actually the food in Britain is incredibly diverse. You can eat any food in Britain, pretty much anything. One of the only foods is, that's hard to find is Indonesian food. But any other food you can find it. Yes, that's, I mean, I'm sorry because my skill for speaking English is so bad. And, you know, I try to pay attention to what you say. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's very good. Just now and then I don't understand something. It's fine. Not a problem. You're very good. Thank you, because you're always motivating me to continue to learn a lot of English. Karen, um... So I think time in my country is thirty midnight. I went to sleeping first. And thank you you for talking to me and I'm sorry if I inter interfere your time. I'm very happy, nice to meet you, and also you helped me to do my assignment on college. If you have more free time, we can talk again, okay? Okay, yeah, no problem, sleep well. Um, is that all, that's all you needed for your college assignment, yeah? You've had enough of an interview, it was a very short interview. Um, Alright, bye-bye. And that's the result of my interview. Um, Indonesian and England um, different seven hours. And he also has uh, videos and pictures to send the situation. For the Pearl Street one. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.